So after checking out the Hi-B FC4 previously, I was honestly quite excited when Hi-B came out with the Hi-B FC6 and wanted my review on them because this deck amp is seriously impressive. So the deck amp today was sent over to me by hi -B for review and there's no money exchanging hands so I'll be giving you my honest and unbiased opinion about them. So the FC6 retails for a slightly more expensive price compared to the FC4 or more specifically 3 times more expensive at $299 US dollars or about 1,333 Malaysian Ringgit. So for a tiny USB deck amp that's not exactly cheap so let's see what makes this device worth your money. And if you're interested in getting this deck amp do check out my links in the description below. So starting with the design of the DAC amp, it still has that same look uh, as any other USB DAC amps that are available in the market and the key is to keep it small and tiny and although the FC4 was a highly functional device, it lacks one thing that makes it even better a display. So the FT6 come with a front LCD display. It's not a massive display at only 0.96 inch with a resolution of 80 by 160 which is plenty sharp for a small device like that and it displays all the information that you need. Of course one of the key benefits of the screen is that you know precisely what filters or what sampling rate that you are using or selecting so it takes the guesswork away from using the device. Also the beauty of having a display most importantly is that it is user friendly and I can use this deck amp honestly without even consulting the user manual which speaks to the design of the device and the user friendliness. So Hybe ships this deck amp together with a leather case so it protects the deck amp when you're traveling and the main device itself if I remove this from the case and the main device here is made of metal and the finish here is honestly quite exceptional and at the back here you're gonna get the FC6 branding there. Uh, you also get a volume rocker at the side here as well as a function button in front of the screen here. And at the bottom here, you're going to get a 3.5mm port for your earbuds or IEM and there is no balance port for this DAC amp unlike the FC4 which comes with a 4.4mm balance port. So at the front here, you're also going to get a Darwin logo there since this device runs the Darwin architecture and you're also going to get the display right at the bottom here. On the other side of the device is the USB Type-C port so you can plug this straight into your device via USB-C or connect it to your PC or laptop using it as a dedicated sound card. So do take note that there is no battery on this device so it does use your device's battery to power it so if you're using a device like the Sony that I have that does not have a dedicated power port to charge it while you're using a DAC amp so you're going to see your player battery drain quite quickly. So next we're going to talk a little bit about the operating system of this device. So the screen here is really useful and at the home page here you're going to be able to see the decoder that you play uh, that you're using whether you're using PCM or DSD and you're also going to be able to see a Darwin HDR activator in green if you have it activated to improve dynamic range and enriching the audios. So you're also going to see the sample rate here and here I have an audio playing at 96 kilohertz and there's also the corresponding LED color at the bottom here to indicate what sampling rate that you're playing. And below that you're going to see the volume indicator there and there's a total of 32 levels of volume including zero. And the great thing about this volume is that it is independent to your audio player so can you, you can use this to fine tune your volume even further. So pressing the function button here brings you to the filter menu. So here you see the different filters that you can choose from uh, and here it's very easy to choose. Just press the volume button and it will change uh, to the different filters for you to choose from and adjust. And the last screen that we have here brings you to the NOS selector which lets you choose between NOS uh, or no oversampling or OS which is oversampling. So in summary having it in NOS mode gives it a more natural sounding analog sound signature and in OS mode it has some processing and removes aliasing and artifacts. So depending on what you enjoy experiment and have fun with it. So similar to the FC4 the reason you buy this DAC amp is so that you can bring the best of your music everywhere and anywhere that you go giving you the ability to drive your high 
wireless headphones and IEMs anywhere. So the FC6 also supports MQA 8X similar to the FC4 which means you can stream high res master quality audio sources like Tidal and fully extract the quality of music uh, from those services. The high res device also comes with full Darwin architecture which provides the algorithm for all the filters and HDR modules within this device. And the FC6 also supports PCM up to 768 kHz at 32 bits and also DSD sampling of up to 512 times the rate of CD quality. And finally with this DAC M, the 3.5mm jet, you're going to be getting a total harmonics distortion of less than 0.006%, not as low as the FC4 but plenty good for most of your IEMs and headphones needs. So how does this DAC M sound? So in my opinion, really good. But then again, remember that no DAC M in the world can fix bad quality source or low quality headphones. So make sure that everything in your audio pipeline doesn't bring down the quality of your audio. So with that said, the FC6 brings out the most of your headphones that you use. The original Sony DAP player that I use gives me a very warm sound signature on my Philips X2HR. And when plugging it into the FC6, it brightens things up significantly and overall gives it a fuller, more satisfying take to the performance of these headphones. So audio also becomes louder since these are amplifiers so it does make your audio source sound a lot more livelier and powerful. I've also tried powering a 250 ohm one audio headphones and it produces sufficient volume even at only volume 20 so plenty more range to go. So with this DAC M it doesn't give you the extra frequency change in terms of bass boosting that really depends on the headphones or IEM that you use as well. However whatever that frequency of your headphones excels at the FC6 brings the best out of it. And it does polish out all the frequencies to make it sound absolutely amazing. So far after testing it with all my headphones and IEMs, and each of it brings out a different sound signature and performance with the FC6. And I must say for most of these headphones and IEMs, sounded positively good with the FC6. So another great product by hi -B, and I think for those that are looking for a portable USB DAC M that you can bring around and enjoy your headphones or IEMs to the maximum potential, then I think this DAC M is definitely for you. So if you're in the market for one of these, definitely check them out. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.